The first major reviews for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order are beginning to come out, and they're mostly positive. People are actually praising the good story, the insane lightsaber combat, and the fact that it still feels like old school Star Wars. Now, I must admit, I've been incredibly curious about Star Wars Jedi Survivor because lately, I haven't really enjoyed Star Wars that much. I just feel like there's so many TV shows, there's so many books and comics and movies and stuff that I've just been kind of getting really, really burnt out. I've been hoping that this game would actually live up to the hype, and apparently it's actually blowing reviewers away, except for one major gripe. But let's take a look at what they said. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So for the most part, people are actually giving it some very, very, very high praise, giving it a lot of nine out of tens. There's a couple here that are basically 10 out of tens. It's absolutely insane. And just judging for ourselves, actually looking at the combat, this is some clips from the uh, actual IGN review. It looks crazy. These team kills, these combats, trying to chop up robots and stuff, it actually looks just as fluid as the previous game, which was obviously Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And boy howdy, I'm actually very happy I pre-ordered this. So uh, apparently EA was saying they were going to send me a copy. I still kind of want to review this game myself, but I wanted to just take a peek at some of these blurbs because this does look kind of cool. So here we are over on Open Critic. This is basically like Metacritic, but specifically for video games. And as soon as we see this top score here, you'll notice the primary complaint that will be echoed in a couple of these reviews. Everybody loves it, except for apparently some rather annoying computer performance issues, specifically on PC, but apparently they also popped up on PS5 and a lot of people are not happy about it. You, you can see here a tweet by Mischief where he's basically praying that the PC port would be pretty decent. And then he says, well, crap. For context, Fextra Life confirmed that the stutter struggle is affecting the game and the optimization simply isn't good enough to begin with. A patch is meant to be addressed on the 27th, but considering how often AAA devs have been lying about fixing issues, I wouldn't expect much. Now, there's actually even this interesting Vice.com article about the fact that apparently during the course of this review process, a lot of people have had the games now for about a week and they've been doing a bunch of tiny hot fixes to try and fix it. And apparently during the course of it, while finishing the game after reviewers had it, they said, okay, we're going to come out with some patches that may break your save file. That's pretty peculiar. The game is definitely unfinished in its current state until we all get it on Friday. This game comes out Friday, so I guess the day one patch is going to fix it. But this is still, it's still a little bit funky. But going back to these reviews here, you can see this is the note that probably makes me the most happy, which is this. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is lovable and unpretentious. Thank the gaming gods. Sometimes Star Wars feels incredibly preachy. Some of the games, some of the new stuff, some of the TV shows and the movies and stuff really try and lay on thick some of those extra messages of, yeah, space war is bad. Yeah, we know that space war is bad. But lightsabers are great. <laughs> this game is a blab. This game is such a blast. But a lack of true focus holds it back. If Respawn was to make a third game in the Star Wars Jedi Saga, it would complete the best Star Wars trilogy in 30 years, hands down. That is insane. Jedi Survivor sets itself up as a benchmark for what a new Star Wars story can look like. Man, I, all of these are incredibly good. Let's check out one of these longer, uh, longer blurbs here. I only platinumed a few games this year, but I'm considering going the distance for Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That's how much I liked it, and I would like to have scored it higher if the technical concerns weren't in play. 
After finishing up Jedi Survivor and immediately cleaning up what I had missed for fun, I found myself wishing for a world where Respawn Entertainment could have focused all of its energy on a single player game from here on out. That's an interesting point. Respawn Entertainment obviously works on a lot of different projects, a lot of them very multiplayer focused. It would be cool if they were just given the budget and the green light to stick with what apparently they do best. As the student who manages to overcome the master, Star Wars Jedi Survivor has learned from the successes and mistakes of its predecessor to become a sequel that is better in everything and leaves us with some of the best moments we have lived in a Star Wars game, but it's still weighed down by technical problems. Man, it's baffling to me that every single person is talking about the technical problems. That's kind of insane to me. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is a step up from its predecessor and brilliant fun as long as you don't let the collectible obsessed plunderer take hold on you. It's not a narrative masterpiece, nor is it the most engaging action game in the world, but it does nothing badly and it excels where it matters. It represents the Star Wars universe accurately and places emphasis on the aspects that keep even the jaded and or lovers like me interested in the IP even after all this time. An obvious recommendation for a Star Wars fan and a hearty thumbs up for anybody even remotely interested. Hmm, man. You know what? Let's actually try and find... Let's see what the most negative review is. Let's actually see what the lowest score is and let's see why they're so pissed about it, right? Let's see. Still lots of nines. Here's A7. Despite, despite some steps forward, Survivor finally settles for falling back in line and humming an all-too-familiar tune. I mean, I feel like that is a fair critique is to say, you know, more of the same is not always good enough. Man, I mean, all of these seem incredibly freaking positive. There's a 7.5. Let's actually click this, though. Let's actually click the thing and say sort by lowest to highest. All right, this is the lowest score. Here's uh, two six, uh, 6 out of 10 scores. Star Wars Jedi Survivor does so much right in continuing Cal Kestis' story, delivering the best lightsaber combat in a game to date, along with some huge environments to explore. Sadly, it's also launching with a bevy of technical issues and frame rate problems that would provide the worst experience for early adopters players deserve better instead of trying to make this game see its potential survivor squandered it by repeating many of the same problems and introducing new ones man man okay so there are a couple low scores here or at least less amazing there's a big debate online as to whether or not a 7 out of 10 game is a good game or a bad game i'm definitely in the camp that 7 out of 10 is fine uh i mean maybe don't spend 70 dollars on a game that's going to be 7 out of 10, but in this ecosystem of a lot of big, expansive, crazy experiences, I think 7 out of 10 is certainly playable. Jedi Survivor, in spite of everything I've written here, isn't a bad game. It's just okay, and it's suffering an identity crisis, but it's still no, it's quite playable and entertaining, hampered by some baffling design decisions. Jedi Survivor doesn't know what kind of game it wants to be, nor what kind of game it is. Man, some of this stuff is actually pretty harsh, but for the most part, I'm glad I paid for it. Uh, mine is coming in the mail. I might have a review. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, EA said they're sending me a copy. Uh, I don't have it yet, but when I get it, maybe I'll make a video. Maybe I won't, but uh, either way, I'm definitely going to play it. I'm definitely going to beat it. What do you guys think? Are you excited for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, or is this something you're going to skip? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. Also, go watch my video about how the Activision Blizzard deal got blocked uh, because it's pretty crazy, but it looks like 99% uh, chance Xbox is never going to own Call of Duty, which is, uh, ooh, that's, that's rough. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.